Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is a should you melt this video. So I have some empties, although I don't have very many empties this time. Um, I do have a lot of non-empties that I'm gonna talk through. So I'm gonna start with the empties um, first, I guess just to get through those. So I finished uh, a sample from Ava's Country Cupboard. This is in Tiffany and the Grinch. This is, I don't have the scent description written on here, but it is a Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Butter Mint, and I think there's a couple other notes in here. This is a sample I got just in my last order, and I got a loaf in this scent, and I was really, I was kind of anxious to just see how the scent performed on warm. I think this is probably a fresher pour, this sample, it's not dated. But from what I've heard from some folks, some of you that have commented on my haul, my Avis haul, was that her wax does need some cure time. So um, this, I could smell it, but it wasn't real strong um, and it wasn't real long lasting. So I definitely am going to let my Avis cure. But from what I could smell of it, it was a really nice kind of buttermint, chocolatey kind of decadent scent so I really liked it I just need to let it cure and as an FYI I'm recording at night so I'm using only overhead light and that's why I also have my lamp on so I'm hoping the lighting's okay because this is the most light I have in my bedroom I also melted I guess this is a sample from front porch in patchouli laundry this actually my sister gave me because she does not like laundry or patchouli scents I just mostly got laundry out of this and it pretty much just smells like like powdered laundry detergent which I'm not a fan of so I did throw it in my laundry room to melt it um but uh, I there are some laundry scents that I think okay no, it doesn't smell too bad that one is one I don't care for at all from vintage chic scents I finished this was one of her big flowers in mama mia which is sweet gardenia coconut cream I love this scent you can see this is from 2016 so it's definitely on the older side but this scent, because I think of the gardenia, it it performed well. Like it's a solid like seven out of 10, but because it is gardenia, which is a floral scent, I wouldn't want this to be any stronger. Um, I have a deluxe blossom bag in this, so um, it's a scent that I will continue to melt. I probably only melt it once in a while because it is a floral scent. It's very pretty because it kind of has a sweetness from that coconut cream. Is it coconut cream? Yeah, coconut cream. So I don't melt it all the time, but I do enjoy melting it. Um, and let's see. So from Barrett's Wax Crafts, this is a pack, a one pound bag of his snoozy melts. And this was from, I don't have it dated, I realized, but this, I probably purchased this in like 2018. Uh, when he I think did a pre-order because people would rave about this scent and it was always difficult to get so he did like a pre-order of these one pound bags and I think I got three of them so I've melted it a couple times recently because I kind of forgot I had it I had this one plus I have another bag of it still a one pound bag it is starting to get on the lighter side um, compared to when I first got it so I definitely need to get through that other bag that I have but this is sweet lavender peppermint and toasted vanilla fluff it's a beautiful scent it's a herbal lavender um, a nice peppermint it's not overpowering you can smell it but it doesn't overtake the blend which is nice and the toasted vanilla fluff I don't really get a toasted note out of it it just gives it a nice sweet creaminess so I love that scent this is a jar from front porch which um, this was like an old style scoopable wax that she used to have and this is in marshmallow zucchini noel i don't know if you can read that and the date i have it dated right here it's hard to read because again i'm a little shadowed it's february 2015 um this i came across it was with my candles actually and i was going through my candles to pull out a new candle to melt and so i came across this there's only a little bit of wax left in here so i literally just um scooped out the rest and put it in two warmers in my living room it threw so strong and right now in this jar it smells so amazing it's like a super strong vanilla bean noel with a nice bakery zucchini so good i would definitely get this scent from front porch again it's a beautiful like beautiful bakery scent i loved it 
I finished a few clamshells from the bathing garden. The first one is Summer Twilight. And let me see, I, I have this, because I'm actually gonna show you some more bathing garden in a little bit. So Summer Twilight is vanilla, black fruit, soft musk, lavender, lilac, eucalyptus, and woods. This is a really pretty scent, but it's um, with my bathing garden. Oh, so I'm not getting great performance when I try melting this scent in like my living room space. Um, so a lot of her stuff I'm either, either doing in my office or in like my bedroom bathroom or even for some sense in my laundry room. This is beautiful because you smell the, the berries, the sweet berries but it does have like a floral undertone. So it's a really, really pretty scent. I do have one more clamshell in this, but um, when I melted this in my room, it had a pretty decent performance, at least a solid seven out of eight, seven to eight out of 10. But I also had tried melting this in my big open living room area and I could smell it a little bit at the beginning, but it did fade out pretty fast. And I think it's just, it was too big of an area for this particular scent. Then uh, Marie Antoinette's boudoir boudoir I'm not sure how you pronounce it and I know there's a little bit of a shadow on there um this is a beautiful scent and I wish where is my cell phone I thought I had my cell phone in here I don't have the scent notes on this but it's it's a little bit sweet it's a little bit floral it's a very sophisticated feminine scent it's beautiful. This is a scent that I will repurchase. I don't need tons of it, but it is such a beautiful scent. I do. I would like to have this kind of in my collection to just melt whenever I feel like it, but it's a very sophisticated, kind of sweet, kind of florally scent. So, And then I melted Breaking Violet. Again, I don't have the scent notes for this one. It is a violet scent, which um, is not a favorite because it, it does definitely come off just more floral, maybe even a little bit of a powdery violet scent. So the last cube that I had of this, I put in my laundry room. It smelled very pretty for the laundry room, but it's not a scent, or I could maybe put it in a bathroom because it is a pretty floral scent. Um, I don't know, maybe down the road I'd pick up another clamshell. I think that one performed pretty well, probably like a solid eight out of 10, um, but I wouldn't, I don't necessarily need to have a lot of it in my collection. Then I finished, a couple bags of candles from the keeping room. And I thought I had another one, but maybe not. Okay, so the first one here, pumpkin pecan waffles from candles from the keeping room. This is from September, 2014. I have it dated. I had two tarts left. I put them in my living room last night and they it was probably a solid nine out of 10. Um, it smelled so good. It's just a good, it's a really good pumpkin pecan waffles. I think it's a little bit sweet, kind of a little bit of that like toasty pecan, um, that like a little bit of that bakery waffle note. So I like hers. It's, I don't think I've had pumpkin pecan waffles on its own from any other vendor. It's always usually in a blend. So I can't really compare it to any other vendors, but it performed well. And considering this was from September, 2014, this did really, really well. If you guys have not purchased from Candles from the Keeping Room, I highly recommend her. She has amazing wax. I don't think she's gonna have an opening until like January or February now, but she has amazing wax. I have a huge collection from her still that I need to work my way through. Then I finished a bag of Jack Frost, which is spearmint, peppermint, vanilla, and cotton candy. This is from 2017. This scent was good, it performed really well. I could definitely smell it, but it was definitely dominant on the spearmint, which for me, I don't like all spearmint scents because some of them feel, smell very like spearmint gum, and this one did come off more of a spearmint gum. So it performed well, but not a repurchase. And for candles from the keeping room, it is the hard paraffin wax. So not all paraffin is hard. Um, my understanding is Glitterati is 100% paraffin, but hers is a container paraffin, which means it's a softer paraffin. And generally you put it in a container and then there's hard paraffin. So um, Candles from the Keeping Room is 100% hard paraffin. Um, so a lot of times when you get it, sometimes it won't smell very strong on cold, but then it's a powerhouse usually when you actually melt it on warm, but you do need hot plate warmers. And I mostly have hot plate warmers in my house. Okay, so the last empty 
is Sugar Melts by Stacy. So this was the extra I got in the D stash I purchased. I did melt a few options. This one I did finish. This is Pink Squirrel, which is cherry and heavy country cream. This was definitely like a really sweet cherry. Um, I generally, I melted it a few times because it was just a few chunks in the bottom. I would put it in a room that I wasn't planning on being in for a while because it was super strong, very sweet, and very, very heavy cherry. So from a set pre scent preference, it's just not my preference, but it performed phenomenally, like super, 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 super strong. Um, this wax is not dated. I think I saw some posts or someone's haul recently that actually had pour dates on it, um, but this does not have pour dates, so I don't know when this was poured, but technically her labels do say no cure time. Um, so I am impressed with the throw. It throws very strong for a long time. And so since I'm talking about her wax, let me grab the other two that I melted. So I also melted some of the cakes and sprinkles. I'm sorry there's like a bit of a shadow. It's just because I'm filming this at night, so I'm relying on overhead lighting. This is vanilla cake batter, powdered sugar, sprinkles, and buttercream frosting. This, again, threw amazingly well but it's ooh, very sweet like tooth achingly sweet um and i'm trying to figure out what it must be the i don't know if it's the vanilla cake batter the sprinkles i'm not sure what's in here that it has a little bit of like um like an undertone of a tartness or something like not like not fruity but i don't know if it's like the vanilla like it's a vanilla extract or what it is. There is something in this that gives it kind of a very, like a little bit of a tart undertone when you melt it. I mean, it was just strong. Again, I'm not sure for scent preference. I think this is a little too sweet for me. Um, it performed really well, but I think I'd have to blend this with other stuff, like maybe tone down stuff that's spicy. But it almost like the undertone, it almost has like a cherry or an almond. Maybe it's an almond it almost has like an almond undertone or something, something like that, even though it's only bakery and sprinkles and frosting or whatever. So not my scent preference um, on warm, but I will melt through this. I'll probably share some with my sister um, if she wants some. And then, but performance was amazing. So I was just very, very impressed with performance. Okay, let's see. I have one more from Sugar Melts by CC. Where is it? It was a low. Here we go. So this is Dipping Cookies, which is sugar cookie, strawberry milk, and sugar milk. So this one, it was, it was creamy and bakery, but it has a bit of a spice in it. So I cannot smell any strawberry in this. To me, this smells more like, like an eggnog and bakery. So I don't know if her sugar cookie just has some spicy notes that kind of lend towards an eggnog type scent but that's what i get from this i get like eggnog and like a bakery note and maybe that sugar milk i don't get strawberry milk it this again powerhouse i melted this in my open concept living room in two tea light warmers and then a light bulb warmer and it was super strong super strong and lasted for hours hours and hours so really impressed with her stuff i definitely will want to purchase but maybe just looking for some scents that i think will you know really lend towards my nose maybe some stuff that's not gonna be so sweet because so far everything that i've melted from her has been very sweet okay so i melted let me try and make this not upside down this is glitterati a chunk in mac apple peppermint and this is from a mystery box i got in January of this year. So this scent, I have a little bit left. I was hoping to finish it before I made this video, but it's Mac Apple and Peppermint. She has a strong peppermint. Um, it's an interesting blend. It's not like I, I enjoyed it while I melted it and I will enjoy the rest of it, but it's not a scent I think I would go after again. It performed really well. It was really strong. It was floating. I would melted it in my bedroom and bathroom and it was floating out into my living room area. Sometimes it would lean more mac apple. Sometimes it would lean more peppermint. Um, it's not something I don't I don't think I need to have more of, but I'm enjoying it while I'm melting it, and it was a strong performer. 
from LP Waxy Wonders. I melted this scent. It's Boardwalk Mallow Clouds Snooze Button and Extra Sweet Lavender. And Snooze Button is Buttermint Sweet Lavender Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, this was a four pack of fluted tarts. I melted, I think I just cut one. I melted a half in two different warmers in my bedroom. This is a beautiful scent. And what I like is the Boardwalk Mellow Clouds did not overtake this blend. I could still definitely smell the lavender. So this was beautiful, strong, and long lasting. And I could still smell a little bit, bit of it the next morning when I got up. So I was very happy with that one. It would definitely be a repurchase. I'm gonna try and do all my L3 now. I had this chunk that I melted part of in peppermint, candy cane, and ca cotton candy frosting. This was really good as well. I melted this in my bedroom. Uh, yep, in two different warmers, strong. She has a strong, strong peppermint, but the candy cane and the cotton candy frosting really just helped to give it a nice sweetness that I really enjoyed. Um, so this is a scent, I don't need to go out of my way to get it, but it's definitely a scent that if it was available, I would definitely get some again. So I just wanna get all my L3. Here's another chunk. And this is in Blackberry Jam Zucchini Bread oops, Toasted Mallow. Now the Blackberry Jam, I can't tell it, I don't think this was Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie. I think it was truly just like a Blackberry Jam. This was so good. I melted this in my office. Um, and so a hot plate warmer and a light bulb warmer. And performed super well, like very strong. It was floating out into the living room area a little bit great blackberry jam it smells more like a fruity blackberry jam mixed with that zucchini bread um the toasted marshmallow i didn't really get much of it probably just adds some sweetness to it but this lasted actually a good amount of time and i think that blackberry jam like really lingered so this is actually a scent i would definitely be interested in getting more of um, at some point I melted some of this chunk in spearmint, pink sugar, and blue sugar. And so like this is an example that I like L3 spearmint. It doesn't lean towards spearmint gum. Um, it's a little bit more of kind of a minty, like a fresh minty scent to me. I really wasn't picking up much of the pink sugar, but I was definitely getting the blue sugar in this. So this leaned more towards a spearmint blue sugar. I really, really like it. I love blue sugar and I always forget how much I love it. Um, I don't have much of it in my collection, I don't think. It tends to just be in blends, but I really did like this. This is definitely one I would consider picking up again. Okay, I melted a couple chunks of this peppermint, rosemary, mint, vanilla balsam. I put this in my, I think I was in my office and I left the doors open because I knew it was going to be strong so it could kind of drift out into the living room area. Such a good minty vanilla balsa. I mean, really, I think it more of the peppermint kind of, it leans towards a sweet peppermint and so that rosemary mint may be sweetening up it a bit. I mean, it's a strong peppermint because L3 is a strong peppermint, but then it has a little bit of a sweetness that I'm wondering if it's coming from the rosemary mint and then just beautiful vanilla balsam. This was great. I definitely like, I definitely look forward to melting more of this over the holiday season. So very good. I melted some chunks out of this one. This is pink frosted cake, strawberry sugar, pink frosted animal cookies. This is definitely just like a nice, decadent strawberry sweet strawberry bakery like light bakery that like cookie cupcake type scent i melted this in my bedroom and bathroom it performed really well it was nice and strong i could smell it again coming out kind of into my down the hallway kind of coming towards the kitchen dining room area a little bit um and it lasted i probably had it in for about five hours i could still smell it and i changed it out to put a nighttime melt in it's very, it's, it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. And her strawberry sugar, I really like the strawberry sugar. It's definitely like a sweetened strawberry, but it's really good. I melted some of the Fraser Fir peppermint and sugar cookie. This scent I get mostly peppermint from when it's melting on warm. I might get a little bit of I think I got a little bit of the tree scent in the sugar cookie, but you smell those more on cold than you do when this is melting. That peppermint is really strong and you get a little bit of that 
um, Fraser fir. I think the sugar cookie maybe just helps sweeten it up a bit, but really a good peppermint blend. Let's see, I think, oh, no, one more from L3, I think. This is Yugo Glen Coco. This was um, from one of her samplers, the Bunt samplers that have the Bunts with the little chunks in them. And so Yugo Glen Coco was a cocoa butter cashmere, cashmere cedar. Today is October 3rd. So I think this was an Octo today is October 3rd sampler. I love today is October 3rd, which, ooh, poke my eye with the bag, which I know is Palo Santo. It's Palo Santo. And then is it like toasted marshmallow? And I feel like something else. But this, you definitely get the today is October 3rd. Um, and then that cat cocoa butter cashmere cashmere cedar it just lends to a very warm comforting kind of woodsy scent um, very very pretty scent I melted it in my bedroom at night the one thing I would say is it's not like it's not real strong on warm like you can smell it but it's not really strong I did melt it as a nighttime melt so I could smell it up until I fell asleep the next morning when I got up, I couldn't smell it, but if I left my room and came back in, I, it kind of was lingering in the air a little bit, but I did end up changing it out. I really do like it, and I think I actually am getting a bag of it in my customs with L3. I, I had a long custom list that I sent off to her. Oh, here's one more. So this is a puppy pack in silver birch and vetiver and smoked vanilla. I only put one piece in my laundry room. Um, I don't remember now how well it performed, but I do really like this scent. So I definitely am going to have to melt this one again so I can remember how it did. Oh, nope, another one. <laughs> I melted a lot of LP. Sledgehammer. So this is Sledgehammer, and this is in her brittle bag, which was part of her pre-order before Halloween. This is Misery Loves Company with cinnamon chai lattes and vanilla cookies. There's no coffee in this, so the cinnamon chai latte is literally like chai latte, chai with milk. Um, this threw actually really well. So the last brittle that I talked about, I didn't really get good performance out of. This one I melted in my living space, my living room area. Um, it threw really well, it was nice and strong. Um, how long it lasted, I don't remember. I think I melted in the evening, so I at least smelled it for a good three or four hours and then I went to bed and I we leave most of the warmers on overnight. I'm trying to remember if, if I relit the tea light the next day. I can't remember if I smelled it or not the next day. But I definitely like this scent. Um, definitely looking forward to finishing this throughout the winter. And it's something I would definitely look to buy again next year because I love chai scents. Okay, so I'm surrounded by wax candles from the keeping room i melted a couple pieces of this wildberry mousse zucchini so carol has an amazing zucchini bread this is from april 2015. i also i just love wildberry mousse with zucchini bread yeah i can smell a little bit through the bag it smells so good so this performed really well um yeah and for its age it's just to me it's amazing that her wax lasts that long it's so good I also melted one tart um, of this mandarin peel, which says apple, muscadine, tangerine, mandarin, orange blossom, leafy greens, and sweet vanilla. To me, it just, it does just lend towards kind of that citrusy, bitter, a little bit sweet of a like peel scent off of a mandarin. I put this in my laundry room. It performed well. Um, not like super, super strong. This is from... 2015. This is one that I bet you it was like super powerhouse when I first got it. So it's probably lightening up a bit with age, um, but it's still just a good citrusy type scent. So I liked it. And then I melted a couple pieces of strawberry cheesecake. So cheesecake is a scent that I tend to shy away from for most vendors because a lot of times it takes on a sour note. This is one of those. It took on a sour note. Now, I don't know if it did because of the strawberry in there too. Um, I will finish this up. It's cheesecake, strawberry, and cream cheese frosting. And it's from 2017, July 2017. So it was nice and strong. But I definitely got the sour note when it was warming. I will finish this, but it's probably not something I will get again from her. And it's just that sour note that I don't care for. Then this is... 
This is from 2014. This is candles from the keeping room too, and I used to rebag her stuff. This is vanilla shake. And I don't have a sub description for this one, but you would think based on the name, vanilla shake would kind of be like a, a cold vanilla ice cream, you know, or vanilla ice cream with like milk or cream or something to kind of give it like the shake, right? This on warm one, when I smell the bag, it smells like nothing. I can't smell anything. So I put two pieces in my two warmers in my bedroom in the morning before I started work. And I will always put wax in my bedroom because throughout the day, I always come through my bedroom to go to my bathroom. That's the restroom I use throughout the day or whatever. So I'm usually in and out of my bedroom throughout the day. So, um, cause I work from home. Um, so I put one in both of my warmers in my bedroom. I, it's hot plate warmers. One is a Glade, a 20 watt Glade, and one is a 20 watt mainstays. And this threw really well. Like I smelled it all day. It wasn't like crazy strong, but it was at least an eight. Like I could, it was definitely there. And actually it might've even been stronger. I'm trying to remember. I think I might've like smelled it, you know, out into the, going into the kitchen area a little bit. Cause there's like a little hallway. I go out my bedroom door to the left. There's a door to the pantry. To the right is the laundry room through to the garage. And then a little bit further down the hallway. And then it opens up into like the kitchen and dinette and then living room. And so this was going out a little bit towards like the kitchen, but it smelled more like a, um, a kind of burnt sugar, like cooked sugar and vanilla or something. It wasn't like a cold vanilla shake. So Scent preference, it was okay, but it lasted the entire day. And it, so it threw really well, I was impressed. From Sassy Girl Aroma, I melted some of this in After Midnight, which is Blackberry Beach Nights Cotton Candy. It performed really well, lasted all day. Again, I put it in my bedroom and bathroom. I usually put two pieces, two or three pieces in each warmer from these snap bars. The only thing is I like her beach nights, but I'm over beach nights in general. So if you like beach nights, she has an amazing beach nights. It throws really strong. The only thing is for me and any of her beach night blends, all I get is the beach nights on warm. Even though on cold, I really smell the blackberry in this one. I didn't smell the blackberry at all on warm. So, oh, I melted a little bit more of the Mamma Mia from Vintage Chic Sense, which, so I, this is what I have left, and this is all from 2016. This was her, like, deluxe blossom bag, which I think you would get, like, a pound of wax in it. This is the other bag of snoozy melts that I have, which I've already talked about. I need to make sure I get through that. Um, oh, I melted, so from my pre-order I just got from Teddy Bees, I melted a little bit of this Christmas party. Um, which is sweater weather, cranberries, orange, tangerine with a hint of spice. Now I melted this because on cold, I really liked it, but I wanted to see how spicy it was. Um, on warm, I pretty much only got like the orange cranberry and spice. It was very good, but I wasn't getting the sweater weather on warm. So I am going to let it cure a little bit more because this was poor 1020. So it's about a month cured. So actually it's probably pretty cured. So it threw well. It's just that because I wasn't getting the sweater weather on warm, I ended up not buying another bag. I still like it and I enjoy it, but I will, I will try melting it again to see if more of that sweater weather comes out. I hope it does. From the bathing garden, I melted a few chunks of tinsel or a few cubes of tinsel. I actually forgot I had this in my stash and I was going through my bathing garden um, to like, and actually, cause I'm gonna do a video after this one on the bathing garden. This is pomegranate, strawberries, raspberries, pe peppermint, and vanilla. I did, I love this scent and I didn't realize I actually had some still from her. I did order in her winter collection. She does have this. I ordered a big clam. This I actually melted in my living room area and because of that peppermint, it was really strong. This is a really strong scent. So this is like really good. I'm glad I have more coming. From Rose Girls, I melted part of this Christmas morning sex. I don't have the scent description on the on morning sex. sex. This is a chunk muffin. I um, put three pieces in like my two warmers in my bedroom and one in my bathroom. This performed really well, but it definitely has kind of a masculine kind of clean scent to it. I'm trying to finish before the 30 minute mark. So, cause my camera will cut off. This is the last one. So this is Fall Bakery. 
Oh, well, this is a as a custom blend I did. Pumpkin souffle, s'mores, sugar cookie crunch. So a cutoff. I didn't quite make it, but um, this was really good. I just got this in October with my custom blend uh, or a custom blend I did. Um, so the pumpkin souffle is pumpkin, butter, sugar, and spices, nutmeg, and cinnamon leaf. The s'mores is milk chocolate, graham cracker, toasted marshmallow, and warm vanilla. And the, the sugar cookie crunch is warm, crisp, buttery vanilla sugar cookies. I think I need to let it cure a little bit longer um, because I could smell it, but it wasn't really filling up the space. So I melted two pieces in two warmers in my living room, in um, the two um, tea light warmers. And I could smell it, but not all the time. It like wasn't filling the space, but I know her wax can perform better once I let it cure a little bit longer. So I think I just need to let it cure for a little bit longer. So I'll be patient and then melt it. And then I, what I was smelling though on warm was mostly the pumpkin souffle. Um, which was really good and so uh, I'll just have to be a little bit patient and wait for that one to cure a little bit more and so since um, I went ahead and had to restart my recording anyways I wasn't going to talk about this one I was going to leave it out but this is another scoopable from front porch that I found within my candles this is in snuggling under the stars I do not have the date on it so I don't know when I got it but I know I've had it for a while um, I don't have the scent description but her snuggling under the stars is is definitely like a warm, um, comforting kind of type scent. It it's like sweet and creamy and comforting. It could it's it reminds me of like a cashmere woods or something like that. Um, I but I can't tell. I don't have a good nose to fill out. So I like this scent. Um, I'll need to look up the scent notes in this one. So I will continue melting it, but I am concerned because I think it used to be white and it's definitely taking on like a yellow tinge. It doesn't look as yellow in the camera, but it's definitely taking on a yellow tinge. So I think I need to try to melt through this just so it doesn't go bad. Um, but anyhow, that's everything I melted this past week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you do have any questions about anything that I've melted or any of the vendors that I've melted, definitely post those below. Um, share with me kind of what you guys are really enjoying these days. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.